Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to make another bot in Python, this time for the Mazda network. This bot, by the end of it, you'll know how to set up a basic bot, how to set, create the bot that will automatically reply to new posts of the people you follow. It will automatically reply with a new joke each time. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to assume you already have an account with this social network. It's, a, I think, a fairly safe assumption to have. So from the home page, we're going to go to Preferences. We're then going to go down to Development. Create a new application. Give it a name. Scroll all the way down, and you're going to press Submit. I have already got my application. Next thing you're going to do is going to click on your application, and there is going to be some values you have to copy. So if we go into my file, I have, you want to create a .emv. In your .emv, you're going to want your client key. So you're going to write client key is equal to and copy your value. Client secret is equal to copy your value. And access token is equal to and copy your value. Your values here you want to keep private because when these values go public, it allows other people to basically use your account through Python or JavaScript or any other programming language. So now everything is set up, or nearly everything set up, we can get started. We're also going to need to import another library, Mazden.py. This is easy to do. There is the PyPit link, which will be in the description. You can copy the command and you can paste it. Mine is already downloaded. So you may want to pause that and give it a bit. It can, shouldn't take too long, maybe a minute. So we're going to import uh, Mazden. So from Mazden, import Mazden, import time, because we don't want to, we're going to be searching through all new messages and we're not going to want to do that every second. It will just be too slow, waste the network. So we're going to have a time so we can have delay, import iOS and import random. And then we want to load our EMV file. None of that should be new to you. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our client or our, yeah, client class. So I'm going to do Mazden in lowercase is equal to then our thing we've just imported, Mazden, open up some brackets and go to a new line. We're then going to want to do client ID is equal to os dot get env and then we are going to want to open up some brackets, open up some speech marks and in our env file you want to make sure you copy it exactly as is. So I've said client key. So we're going to post paste that in there. Next we're going to want to put a comma, do a new line and then we want to do client secret is equal to os dot get e env and so on and so on. Get client secret. I have already done this, so there we go. Well, clearly I thought I had to set my clipboard. Never mind. Client secret, and then we're going to do our last one, which is access token. And that's going to equal to, well, you guess it, OS dot get EMV. The net other thing we're going to need is we're going to need our API URL in here. Because depending on your network, they've got slightly different API bases. I am using the default network, so I just use the default U, uh, URL. So what we're going to do is we're going to do API equals base URL. We're going to open up some speech marks. And we are going to do HTTPS. Actually, we can just copy and paste that from our browser. That removes any spelling mistakes. So copy this first bit, the base URL. So if we paste that in, it should just take us to our home page. So there we go. Let's paste that in there. OK, so that is that. Now we created our client, we're going to get all of our, we we'll want to get all of the accounts we're following. So the way we're going to do that is I'm going to create a variable called uh, follow, following 
and that's going to be equal to Madden dot accounts and then that's going to be underscore ah uh, follow uh, there we go following and then we're going to open up some brackets and it's going to want us to put in a user ID so we're going to want to put in the user ID of our account because we want to get our followers or no our people we're following and the way we're going to do this is I have written a quick script called account ID. The link to this will be in the description or you can just copy that out yourself. Anyhow, we are going to close this because it's in the way. We are going to run that quickly. And what this does is it works out your ID from your account information. Shouldn't take too long to run. For some reason VS Code is being very slow today. But there is our account ID, so we can just copy and paste that in, like so. The next thing we're going to want to do is we are going to want to oh, to create ourselves a variable. At, or a variable? We're going to want to create ourselves a list. What this list is going to have is all of the posts that we of our followers, because. When we're doing this, we only want to reply to new posts. And the only reason we want to do that is, let's say our bot has some downtime and we put, turned it back on, it would reply to every single post they've ever done again. And if you're looking at an account that's like three years old, that could be hundreds of thousands of posts. So we're just going to save them the notifications, save our bandwidth, and we're only ever going to reply to new posts. So I'm going to go to following underscore posts. That's then going to be equal to an empty list. And then I'm going to do for i in following. There we go, just like a normal loop. We're then going to go to for posts in, and then we're going to go to mazdome dot account, uh, will it autofill? Maybe not, account, and then we want to go to statuses, because each post is called a uh, status, statuses, or a status, and then we want to pass in i. The reason we're passing an i is that is the user, or the account we're looking at, and then we want to go to our name of our list, and we're going to want to append in our post. So we're going to append and then post.id. We don't need to save the whole post, we just need or posts.id in this case. So now if I, let's say printed followers posts and we ran this piece of code, we should hopefully get a list in our terminal of the IDs of every one of my posts. This does take a while. There we go. So that is the ID of all of my posts, which is perfect. So the next thing we, we're going to want to do is we're going to want to find our jokes. I have got a text file here of a couple of jokes. Okay, by a couple, quite a lot. So that is what we're going to want to post. This is really easy to do. We've probably done this before, so we're going to go to with, open, and then jokes.txt, we're then going to close our speech marks, and then we're going to open them and put R, R stands for read, and then we want to open this as F, and then colon, new line, jokes is equal to F dot read lines. For some reason, ah, oh, there we go, it just took a second for it to decide it likes that. So that is our first part. The next bit we're going to want to do is we are going to want to check for new posts and then we're going to want to reply. By the way, the link to the code is in the description. The link to the Michael Media Group account is in the description. The link to my personal account is in the description along with our Discord server, Twitter, and the buy me a cup of tea link. If you felt like that, it would be much appreciated and it allows me to keep making videos. So we're going to create ourselves a loop. So we're going to go while true. And now we're going to check through all of our 
check through new posts. So we're going to go for I in where is it? I am following. Let's copy and paste this to make sure we spell it right. We're then going to want to go to four posts. Well, basically, we're doing this exact top bit. So it's yeah, not the most efficient of systems, but for a beginner, it makes a lot of sense. We're now going to want to do if posts dot id is not in followers posts we are going to then want to append so we're going to want to add in the new posts so append and then we're going to want to go to posts dot id there we go like so we're then going to want to put reply with our joke the way we do this is we're going to go to We're going to first create our variable, so let's go joke used. We're then going to want to do a simple random dot choice. Yes, sorry, you have messed up my tab selection there. Thank you very much for that. There you go, random dot choice. And we are going to want to put in jokes. So let's just going to pick a random joke from the file that we opened earlier. And now we're going to reply to that. So that's as easy as going man, madston dot status underscore post. And then we're going to want to put in our two criteria. There are loads of criteria you can put in. We don't need any of that. We need little of it. We need our text or our reply. And then we want to say that it is a reply. Because you can create new posts and you can create replies. So the way we do that is we just go to in underscore reply to ID and then we do just posts.id. So that is all. Now the next bit we want to do, which is inside our loop, we want to go to time.sleep and then you want to put in a number like a three minutes, four minutes, just so this is easy to demo, I'm going to put five seconds in there and we're going to run the code. So there we go. Let that load. And now if we go into Firefox and I create a post. So it's a we'll write a post. It's been a good two weeks, but it's a shame. Holiday is over. There you go, and we publish that. We and you can see our bot has automatically replied with a joke. And if we check our code, okay, we aren't actually printing anything, but basically it's checked every five seconds and we were just lucky it was so quick that it found our post and it decided to reply. So it is that simple. So the code is public and in the description. You need to upload it first. My account will be in the description and the account of Michael Media Group will be in the description. That should be everything. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and maybe see you in the next one. See ya. Goodbye.